cult. I mean cult. Also, I wasn't talking to you. Babe, chill. Let's get this show on the road. To beguile many and to be beguiled by one. I didn't sign up for this poetic Shakespeare shit. We are very pleased that you took careful consideration in joining our society. Please take a card from the deck. Turn your card over once everyone has received their card. If there are no further instructions. Best of luck. Ego. Sounds good to me. Wait, that's it? From the top, not, not the bottom. Letter says no further instructions. Go so mind your damn business, white boy! Babe, what did he do to you that you're acting off tough? Huh? Little attention, no? Yo, don't tell my girl what to do. Let's flip our cards on the count of three. Okay? One, two, three. They sent you with that quiet motherfucker in the back, fucking sicko! Huh? What's your friend said? That you! I guess we can't say what it is. Man, I don't give a shit. We have to listen to what Eagle said! Fuck this shit! You wanna curse me out, saying that you hate me? I wonder what the rest of the deck of cards say about you. <laughs> Jay, stop! Stop what? Stop it! Stop what? Stop what? What am I doing? Fucking problem. What do you mean, what the fuck am I problem? We got here. Naya? Tell me? Nice. Why do I gotta tell you about chair. my business? Oh, really? So that's how it's gonna yeah, be? Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. I don't think we should be together then. Whoa, what do you want? The fuck? They want us to kill each other or something? I hate you! Just tell me what it did. I can't say anything. I think they want us to fight. My theory is they want our deepest secrets to get the best of us. It's only gonna be one survivor. Ego, or someone must have been watching us these last couple of days. The question I have is. Why do you two want to be part of this club, but neither of you talked about it with each other? Yo, put the gun down. I don't trust you two. We don't trust you either. Naya, you tell me everything. Why couldn't you tell me you planned on doing this? I could say the same thing, but I'm glad you're here because now I, now I know what kind of little secrets you've been hiding. Always putting me down, putting yourself first. This is the last and final straw. Go to hell. Something you've done, right? <coughs> so, how about Naya, Andy? It's none of your concern. Answer the goddamn question! Don't shoot him! It is. Did, did he tell you about the money? What? The money. Eagle said once you're accepted to this call, you get money. Did he tell you about the money? Three months ago, I was on my way home. I met a random guy at the train station. Barely see his face. He had a brown fedora, gray trench coat, black Oxfords. I've seen him. So have I. Think that was Ego? He asked if I'd like to make him money. I, I thought this, this dude was crazy. So I was ready to move to Different section. He gave me a thousand on the spot. <laughs> I rejected his money, and then, then he doubled it. It was, it was something from a something from a movie. His, his vibe was eerie, but he convinced me otherwise. Accepted his cash, and he gave me what looked like a business card with details to today's event. He said if I join a particular society, cult, whatever you call it, I could have millions of dollars if I mention the person who means the most to me. Who did you say? You. You? Of course, you too. <laughs> Why did you just do that? I have no idea. How about you?
what you mean. It means the most to you. Nara. Andy! So, you mean to tell me the ones we care the most about are all of you? Does Andy mean more to you than me? Is that why the alarm went off? Huh? Of course not! Lying! Tell me, Andy. Have you two been buddy buddy? <laughs> it's true. Jay, I love you. You, you mean the world to me. We can overcome this together. We've been through thick and thin. Babe, please? Seriously? It was a one time thing. Clearly, it wasn't because he means the most to you. Those deck of cards want us up so we could kill each other. Jeez. We should be working together to get out of here. You know what? I don't want this anymore. I wish I never came here. Hello? I want out. I want to get out of here. Hello? You're not getting out of here. You're not going to tolerate that. No. This money is more important than the cheating this game. Right. Oh. Oh. Did, did you just try to kill me? Oh, I hate you! I thought you loved me. You killed me! I didn't even kill you! It's over! It's been over! Go be with your lover boy over there! for every move and his expectations. The only question is, if there are two guns here, where's the bullet? I don't want to die. He knows we're either selfish. Why do you think we're the perfect adjustments for this game? Cheers, you've completed level one. You're two levels away from joining our society. Please, please decide amongst yourselves who you would like to eliminate. World destruction, ruin, and decay. The worst is death, and death will have its day. Ego. like in the WWE, with some little girls. Then I threw one of them to the wall of the Bouncy Castle as a rope to the ring, and... I like, I like the WWE. Come and get me, giant! I'll play with you, but when are you done talking about this? Oh, all right. Well, she slid between the wall and the floor and the castle, and her head hit a real cement wall because the castle was really close to it. Did you win? No. Oh, okay, okay. Her dad came and took her to the hospital. And after some hours, we got a call saying that her brain was swelling. 
She needed to stay in observation for three days. <coughs> Parents got really mad and they went to the police. That's why you went to jail. Yeah. My parents were really mad and they agreed with me. During the first two years of middle school, I got into a lot of problems. But even when I did really well in my third year, for some reason, I was still mad. I can't worry about that. I understand what you feel, but listen to this. After four years, tomorrow, I'll be getting out of prison. No, no, you have, have to listen to her. No, I don't understand. Peace. You know, my mom, she used to tell me that I never let her finish talking to me when I was little. She was mad about something that I did. <laughs> my mom, too. She used to kill me with a belt because I always answered back to her, but I never stopped doing that. <laughs> I got hit with a belt, too. I wore three pairs of pants and it didn't hurt. <laughs> well, let me tell you guys. I used to work at this company and one day a pal of the computers fell. I went to go out and pick it up, and when we finished, they were missing. <laughs> Did you steal it? Please, let him finish. No, but someone, one of the co-workers, said I had stolen it, and I had sold it to him. My boss didn't like me too much, so he called the company's owner, and he called the police. Did someone try to defend you? No. I thought I had friends at that job. No one said anything. At 18, I got kicked out. That's why I got the job, and then all that happened. Swing! I was really dumb. <laughs> I don't think that hit the forehead by a swing. You dummy. Come on. <laughs> Can I tell you guys something? Sure. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, let me go get the ball because I, I kicked it too hard. I used to have this dream, and it was about helping the workers at that company I was at. How did you want to help them? Well, my dad told me this story about one of my uncles. The company wanted to hire him because of his skills. The company's owner said he could file an application that would help him become a member of this country. You know what? That doesn't sound bad, but as you said, no one defended you. I know, but if I had my own business, I would give them that opportunity. And why don't you start your own business? A business of what? Hey guys, do you have water? I'm really thirsty. Bottle of water. You can tell jokes of water. My dad used to do that. Some days were good, and others, well, I believe it was because it was his business. He worked for someone. But if this business is yours, you would earn a lot. And also, you would be able to help out others, as you said. You know, that's not a bad idea. I would file those applications for my employees. There's so many good workers out there, and if they just got a chance, they wouldn't be worried every single day, and they would be legally in this country. That would help them a lot. And also, their families. I bet you every summer they would go to visit their families. But can only help a certain amount of people, right? No, I think we'd be able to help out more people. I mean, think about it. If they became residents, we would talk to them and they could go to other jobs or companies. And then this opportunity would be open to anyone. That's true. Just think, if your business would do something like that, I know that thousand more could do that too. But for some reason, they don't do it. I don't think businesses really care about that. They want workers. That's it. In this country, most people just focus on their own things. And, you know, if the people around them aren't affecting them, they just ignore them. But, believe it or not, that's the reality. Just like when you and I got no help. It's just the reality of it. Is that water or not? Follow me. We're going to the cafeteria. I got my lunchbox there. I got some sodas for you. Oh, do you have Coca-Cola? I really have sodas for you. I think so much now, it's like an addiction. Here comes Messi alone. He kicks the ball and... Go! No, 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 you guys no, see it? No, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> I, I, I really like little kids. Same, I mean, 
I used to love playing my sister, but I stopped seeing her when I got kicked out. You know, I used to think kids would be the best leaders in the world. Well, he's a kid. Aren't they all the same? Yeah, but when they get older, some of the kids don't have support of their parents. They end up making mistakes and send them to jails or prison. I didn't think about it, but shoot. Well, I like that idea you had about the business. When you got older, would you want to work with me? Sure, I'll be more than happy to. Partner? Hey, my dad has the same lunchbox. In the front pockets, there's chocolates. Can I have one? Weird. My dad also has the same one. I always saw it in my kitchen. It's really weird. You guys remind me of me when I was younger and happy. I mean, I'm happy about some things now, but I just worry about everything. Can I have a chocolate? Yeah. Don't worry so much. You will do better once you have your business, and I will do anything that I can to help. So, um, are we gonna play or not? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who doesn't like socks? I like socks. All right, who's open? Uh, no, don't give it to him, okay? What? Keep away, keep away. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm over here. Are you kidding me? Okay, you ready? Oh, 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 keep oh, playing. Oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding me? I'm open. Okay, okay I'll give it to you. Slide, here you go. <laughs> I just wanted to have friends. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Damn nice up here. You said you didn't feel like going out all weekend. Well, had you told me we had to work 15 minutes to come up here, I might have doubled down. But I might have said it was worth it. You want to stay? Surely deserves a little more credit than that. Or at least it definitely will in a few minutes. When the sun's down. So you said the stars are a lot brighter up here at night, right? How much brighter would you say they are than down at the bottom? Oh, you'd be surprised. I sure was the first time I was brought up here. Anything? Shouldn't be too much longer. Hope not. I left my jacket back in the car. I'm at the bottom of the hill. Thirty minutes away. I think it's gonna get dark. Don't, don't worry so much. It may not look like it. The red leaves, breeze. Trust me, it's not gonna get much colder for a good long while. No. 
We don't have to stay here if you don't want. No, no. You went through all this trouble convincing me to come here, and I didn't have much else to do. So why not? Okay then. I just wasn't sure you seemed up for it with what all the stuff you got going it's on. It's fine. Yeah. Just wait for the stars to come out and not be so goddamn antsy about it. Okay. So, you ever been out towards the lake near the highway by the old pier and Roy's Tacos? Can't say I have. You probably really like it. Everyone in town has been there at some point, but it's pretty downbeat. Not too much noise or nonsense. Just like up here. Just like up here. Yeah, if you want, we can try and head down there one day and just hang out. We don't have to put too much sound into it. We can go with it and have fun. That does sound like a good time. I'd, uh, I'd have to ask Phyllis if I could use her car again, though. You mean, your mom? You know she's not my mom, right? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I, I didn't know. It's fine. Most people don't get it. I've been emancipated for two years now. Phyllis was my last foster parent, and she keeps tabs on me when she can, and she helps me out. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice. You're relaxed? How, how many foster parents have you had? You want to know that? Uh, yeah, I want to talk about it. I've been a part of seven foster families across my life. I never knew my real parents, and I probably never will. I see. Sounds like it's been hard. Uh, harder than what I can think of. Yeah. But I'm sure you've had your share of disappointments in between all of that. I've had plenty of that myself. Trust oh, really? Me. And what makes you come to the conclusion that your disappointments are one and the same with mine? Well, I wouldn't say a one-to-one -one match, per se. I just thought that maybe we might, <clears throat> you know, understand where we've both been somehow. So what is this great big disappointment in your life? First off, I wouldn't say it's as deep or as severe as yours, but I'd say it's been fairly heavy. My dad, he left me and my mom when I was, when I was eight. As soon as he signed the paper, zip, went straight out the door. Never saw him again after that. So it's just been in the mountain the past couple years? Pretty much. Yeah, it's you had her all those years. Better than having what a monster know from. What does any of that have to do with us, though? That's something I've been thinking about. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of things makes you feel like it's worth trusting others? What kind of question is that supposed to be? Just, just hear me out. Something I've, <coughs> something I've been thinking about. Or is this a cheap game for me to feel sorry for you? I'm getting to that. Now, now watch this. Okay. So, you have two people. Different features, different ideas, different stories. Can be as different as night and day, or black and white. Now, what allows these two individuals to actually connect with each other, despite their differences? I don't know. Well, the way I see it is that both individuals are not compatible at 
face value. That's obvious from the onset. So there's really only two options, compromise or split away. They both need to have an understanding of what they're looking for. It's not all gonna be there in one convenient package. Only then is there a chance of any real connection. That was it? Yeah, that's it. Not much else to it the way the way I see it. I don't know about that. <laughs> what, what what do you mean? Surely you had to deal with something like that. Foster care? Seven times? Surely you had to make some compromises. Yeah, I very well might have, but I don't think any of it holds up well under pressure. What is this supposed to be? Answer me this. What compromises one have to make for the other person to make for the mill? What, what, what makes it even worth that journey to the mill? What, what kind of question is that supposed to be? What promises one have to make so it all can come crashing down? Do you honestly think I can answer that question? Do you honestly think anyone can? Then what was the point of this whole little thing you've been putting on for me this whole time we've been up here? What, you thought I was the perfect person to dump your insecurities onto? Being the lonely new guy in town with no real family? Watch the stars, my ass. Look, I just thought that I finally found someone worth talking to in this whole dump of a town. Someone who could at least understand what it's like to be left behind. But no! You're worse than that, aren't you? Don't, don't you dare. Admit it! You like being like this, a miserable, joyless stick in the mud. Everybody in the goddamn town can fucking see that. Well, at least I'm not a pretentious fucking asshole who has to latch onto some kitchen spirit to fix his fucking daddy issues. Have fun soaking alone in the twilight. Wait. Look, I know you've had it hard. And I know that all you wanted was to know someone who understands that feeling. I didn't mean to upset you with the things that I had said. I just, I don't know how to deal with these kinds of things. I never have. Sorry. Sorry for dragging you all the way up here and ruining you with my shit. I didn't mean what I said I did. I want to be up here. I don't want to be alone. I don't know how to not be alone, okay? I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's just the way it's been all these years. Well, if you still want to go, still leave while there's still sunlight. Plus, you're the one with the car. I'll see you. Could you still a little longer? to bring up any more of that stuff from earlier unless you feel like it. Maybe another time. Anytime soon. You ever wish things were different? Like a complete reset before all the bad began to pile up around you? Some other direction that would 
Cross out every single last wrong in your life. Sorry, I forgot. Can you still give me a ride home? <laughs> <laughs>